Scene 4, Take 1, A Marker. Hi, I'm Dan Bergman, lead writer and co-director of Pointing Fingers, the first ever fiction feature film about, written by, and starring, people like me, minimal speakers with autism. In Pointing Fingers, Francis and Claire are a couple with minimally speaking autism who have taken the bold step of living together with Daisy, their aide who helps them with communication and everything else. One morning they awaken to find that Daisy was murdered in the night. Devastated by the loss, and deprived of their ability to communicate effectively, they are accused of the crime and must somehow, with all their challenges, solve the murder and bring the killer to justice. I have assembled a unique, experienced and successful team, beginning with my own parents. My father, who is a prize-winning and experienced director is my co-writer and lead director. He has directed famous actors, and his films have won prizes in the United States and other countries. Dad is completely unafraid to connect with people. He knows his way around drama the way squirrels play in trees. My mom is amazing too. She's our production designer but mostly she's an important public sculptor and a published poet. Dad works with her on her monuments as project manager, and, between his films and her monuments, my family has a lot of experience turning large amounts of money into uniquely valuable works of art. So I know they will bring pointing fingers in successfully, and will deal effectively with whatever comes up, because I've seen them do it again and again. As for myself, I am a writer and activist. In 2010 when Apple first announced the iPad, my family and I made an app to turn the iPad into a spelling board that remembers what's been typed and speaks the words aloud. I named it I Mean and, 13 years later, it's still the premier tool for the growing number of non-speakers who type to communicate. More recently, I won an oration competition to speak at my Harvard Extension School commencement gave a commentary on CBS Sunday Morning, made a presentation to the Harvard Alumni Association called The End of Intellectual Disability, and was featured in a video series by the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I am also a poet and composer, so I bring my own style and established social justice platform to this project. My family has a motto, to move, to teach, or to delight. Pointing fingers does all three. We are honored to be joined by casting director and co-producer Michelle Ortlip, editor and composer Lucas Tahiruzaman Syed, director of photography Tamara Santos, and journalist, actress and playwright Faith Saley. My co-star, playing Claire opposite my Francis, is Emily Grodin, co-author of the book I Have Been Buried Under Years of Dust. Here she is to talk, in the way people like us can talk, about pointing fingers. My name is Emily Broden, and I'll be playing Claire in the film Pointing Fingers. As you can see, like our two main characters, I am using a device to communicate. When Daniel and Michael Bergman wrote the script, they knew that Claire and Francis needed to be played by individuals who truly understand the challenges that these characters face, from stereotyping and discrimination to extreme miscommunication. There are 31 million minimal speakers like me and Emily alive today, and because we can't control our bodies, and don't look like we understand what is going on, our intelligence is only beginning to be recognized. Historically, we have been at best invisible, and at worst locked up in asylums. This story highlights autism in a way we haven't really seen in the mainstream media before. Watchers will feel the joy, love, loss, anger, humor and immensely strong community that these characters experience. I think it is so important that the world not only get to watch this film, but get to see what life is actually like for two people living in a society not built for them. We are standing on the shoulders of recent movies that have brought mainstream audiences into the lives of differently abled people. The Peanut Butter Falcon in which the lead character has Down syndrome and is played by Zachary Gotsagen who has Down syndrome himself has delighted large audiences worldwide. Coda about a young woman who can hear normally who is born into a family of deaf fishermen in New England, won the Oscar for Best Picture in 2022. Pointing Fingers, a fiction film about minimal speakers setting out to take responsibility for their own lives is a harbinger, I hope, of the future. I came up with the idea for Pointing Fingers because I wanted to make a tremendously inclusive movie, not only with a diverse and neurodiverse cast and crew, 
but I also wanted to reach out and include the largest possible audience, and the murder mystery is a genre understood and loved by millions. We've done a lot to get pointing fingers ready and now we're asking for your help so we can shoot. I hope I have gotten you interested in participating in pointing fingers. New York Rep is our non-profit co-producer and you can make a tax-deductible contribution to pointing fingers on this link. New York Rep has been developing shows with a social conscience for the last 10 years, and we are proud that they have joined with us to make pointing fingers. If you prefer to invest, we will gladly share our profits with you, whatever they are. Go to our campaign page on wefunder.com, bearing in mind that investing in movies is risky. If you are a non-speaker with autism and you want to be in the movie, please fill out this Google form and we will be in touch. If you are a differently abled person and want to be part of the cast or want to work on the crew, please fill out this other Google form. We will be glad to hear from you. Join us and thank you for watching this video.